and welcome to LiveWire's Buy, Hold, Sell. This is our income series special, and I'm joined by two special award-winning financial advisors, Hugh Robinson from Centaur and Charlie Viola from Pitcher Partners. And today we're going to be going asset class and fund specific. Um, Hugh, I'm going to ask you first. We're going to go through three asset classes um, to start off with. Equities, is it a buy, hold, or a sell? Hi, James. For me, it's a buy. Uh, Aussie equities... Uh, there's still room to run. We haven't had the great catch-ups that we did over the last 10 years relative to other countries. So I think we're also transitioning a little bit out of banking and resources. We've seen some tech come into, into the market. Uh, and for me in particular, it would be Benelong Australian Equities Fund. Uh, they've been a first quartile manager over a six, one, three, five, ten 10-year period. Income's been around 5.32% 10-year average, 15.82%. Uh, with a 0.95% fee. So for my mind, it's really hard to beat that. Okay. Charlie, Aussie equities, are you a buy, hold or a sell? You know, we, we're a buy. We're a buy here, James. Um, look, you know, e equities is a major driver of, of revenue for client portfolios. Uh, and we think sometimes, you know, sort of keeping things simple is, uh, is a good way to do it. So, uh, you know, let, let's, um, you know, our one is buy STW or the street tracks uh, ASX 200, which is tickers STW. You know, it's 13 basis points of cost. There's 57 bill or something of, of farm in it. The distribution rate is very close to the market, um, you know, which I guess as we see, you know, the EPS kind of grow overall over time, we're going to see that, that revenue production for client portfolios continue to, to grow. So, you know, make it a good cornerstone of your, of your, of your equities portfolio. Okay, great. Listed infrastructure, interestingly, from the income series survey, this was the asset class that people were most likely to allocate towards in the year ahead outside of equities. Charlie, are you a buy, hold or a sell on listed infrastructure? Oh, we love infrastructure, I must say, James. Um, we love it. We love everything about uh, infrastructure. I think the, um, the, the listed managed fund or the, the, the ETF that we like in that is Magellan Infrastructure Fund, uh, the ticker code MICH. Return versus market's been reasonably good. It's outperformed the benchmark. The yield is kind of four or four and a half percent, which kind of hits that target that we're sort of looking for for client portfolios. It's currency hedge, so you move, you know, you're losing that sensitivity um, to FX movements, and you know, just a really high quality portfolio of quality assets run by a good manager. Okay, Charlie likes Magellan in listed infrastructure. Hugh, listed infrastructure is the asset class a buy hold or a sell? I would have it as a hold. Uh... I as well have the Magellan as, as the one that I would choose. Uh, expert management, very well run. Active management in this space, I think, is very important, especially when you see what's going to come through in the US with the infrastructure spending. So I do think there's opportunity. Uh, but at this stage, I'm still a hold. I'd probably wait out another year. Our third asset class is alternatives. Hugh, and while we're with you, are you a buy, hold, or a sell on alternatives? Uh, I'm a buy. Uh, and in terms of Alternatives, I'm going to go alternative fixed income strategies. Uh, and with there, I think that there's the ability to generate uh, a higher return on cash than well, then you can get in cash uh, and to counteract the risk of inflation if inflation does start going up. And the investment that I was looking at there was uh, ActiveX Adaya Real Outcome Bond Fund with the code XARO. Uh, it's unconstrained income was 4.12% last 12 months. Uh, quarterly distributions, low fee, about half a percent. 2% above inflation is their goal. And the team is just how they do it uh, is unique in the marketplace. And I think it warrants attention from investors. Okay, great. Charlie, alternatives, buy, hold or sell? Uh, look, generally, James, we're a buy on alternatives. But the, the issue of alternatives is a bit of a spurious one. Alternatives means different things to different people. You know, you say alternatives to some people and they think you're going to go off and buy a, you know, a, a Guatemalan coal mine or something. Um, in reality, we kind of look at alternatives as just being another asset class, but we like to think of it, you know, at the lower end, the lower risk end. So, um, you know, we like syndicated property, we like syndicated debt, uh, you know, a really simple one that we like to buy for clients to produce income is the Qualitas Real Estate Income Fund, ticker code QRI, uh, you know, a pot of good quality loans that are run by Qualitas, which is a you know, fantastic manager with a huge amount of money, uh, you know, under, under management. Um, and, you know, that, that there's loans that sit within that book that are of sort of varying degrees up and down the kind of uh, the, the credit stack. It, it's paying about, a, I think, a sort of five and a half percent yield. 
Uh, it trades at the NAV uh, every day. It's very liquid. Um, a good, easy one for clients just to pick up some good income in their portfolio uh, and have the ability to trade out of if they want. Okay, great. Now, for people that are at that phase where they're approaching retirement, is there an asset class that you think is a sell or that they should be reducing exposure to? Um, so for, for me, and again, it's difficult, I think it depends on the pot size and it depends on you know, how big a client's portfolio is. Um, I'm a big one for, for clients not having too much dead cash within their portfolio. Um, the cash should either be sitting there waiting to buy you know, bread, milk and rice and race cars or whatever it is that people spend their, their money on, um, or uh, it should be waiting to be invested. So don't have too much cash in your portfolio. It's not going to produce a return for you. It's not going to generate revenue. Um, either take it out and spend it and buy something nice or get it in and get it invested into something that's going to generate some income for you. Okay. Hugh, Hugh um, Charlie wants to buy race cars for his clients. What are you, what are you selling your clients? I'm going to hang out with Charlie's clients. Um, for, for me, I, I would be avoiding government bonds. Uh, similar points to Charlie, it's a really low yield. Uh, typically, it's a high duration product and it probably won't keep pace with inflation. So in terms of, you know, there's probably a better opportunity with some of the, the credit-like opportunities in corporate bonds uh, with the credit spread. So from our point of view, government bonds, the traditional safe haven that they're seen as, uh, in the current environment, we don't really buy that. Well, that's a wrap on this special Buy, Hold, Sell edition as part of our income series. Thanks to Hugh and Charlie for being candid and sharing their views today.